Former Behavioral Health Director Teresa Ariola is officially Public Health's new director. Senators voting to approve her nomination during session Tuesday, though not without sharing concerns for the tough task ahead. Speaker Therese Terlahi says public health is at a crisis level. I'm very much looking forward to her service. But there are some issues that face the, the Department of Public Health and Social Services that I think, you know, we are going to need to be collaborative on, we are need, going to need to be transparent on in order to regain the trust or to gain the trust of the people of Guam in our public health services. Uh, in all aspects. Among those concerns are a need for more social workers at Child Protective Services with an unprecedented amount of children in the system, paused health and illness prevention programs, and a need for a centralized health center for the island's disadvantaged. Senator Joanne Brown criticizing the lack of urgency to consolidate services after the community health center in Mangilao was vacated due to a reported electrical fire in 2019, leaving the building to, quote, deteriorate for the last five years. As a result, what are we doing? We've divided up these services where most of the clients, and we've seen from the presentation made earlier this year by the employees of public health, the employees that work there that are saying, please give us back our building so that we can provide services to our clientele out in the community. Brown says while she supports Ariola's appointment, she hopes the new director will make this a priority. Senator Chris Barnett held the same sentiments. While the former public health director shut down a bill earlier this year that would have reopened the Mangilao facility despite supportive testimony from his employees, Listen, Barnett hopes Ariola listens to her employees. And I really hope that she looks out across the island and, and realizes that we need to get these services to the people who need them, the people who deserve them. And that's not coming from this legislature. That's coming from the experts who have been serving the people for decades, who are able to look at how we used to do things, how we used to do things when they worked versus how we're doing things now when the data and the statistics show that our babies are dying because we can't get the critical services to the mothers and the families that need them. Senator Tom Fisher also calling the amount of infant and maternal mortality a tragedy and a public health emergency. So he looks forward to the new director's leadership. It's not an easy uh, task. Uh, it's often not popular. It is a difficult task and Miseriola is extraordinarily fit uh, for the duty. So uh, I have every confidence in, in seeing the Department of Public Health move forward under her leadership. Eleven senators voted in favor of Ariola's appointment with four senators absent and excused. Mutsuki Hurayama, KUEM News.